And tonight, you pay for lawmakers from St. Charles County to St. Louis. They are scrambling to get measures on the ballot to tax the sale of adult use recreational marijuana. Now, that's one of the provisions in Amendment 3 that legalized those cannabis sales. Tonight, I talked to both officials and people from the industry about the new taxes. That is tonight's You Paid For It. I talked to the CEO of Bee Leaf Medical, a dispensary headquartered here in St. Charles County that has five locations across the St. Louis area. Taxing cannabis sales is especially important to him. Amendment 3 allows municipalities to put a 3% sales tax on adult use recreational marijuana. It has to be approved by voters. That's on top of a 6% state sales tax. Jason Nelson says there are some existing sales taxes on top of that. So functionally you could be in the ballpark between 12 to 15 percent total taxation on a specific product over the wholesale price. And again by comparison to our neighbor in Illinois that coasts in the 33 percent tax rate, that's, that's favorable. I talked to St. Charles County Executive Steve Elman about a measure there to put a 3 percent cannabis tax on the ballot. Elman says he'll support it if the council passes it. He can see money going to things like police. Well, you know, the people that wanted to get this passed, I don't remember any of them saying that uh, Missouri was going to be better off if people smoked more marijuana. What they did say was that if people are going to smoke marijuana, that government and our schools and our other local government should get something out of it. St. Louis City's measure is already in the works. Brandon Bosley introduced the measure for a 3% tax that would go on the April ballot once it's finally approved. He's not really worried about too much competition between communities. I would think that out the, you know, throughout the entire United States, folks are always looking for a cheaper price on anything that you're getting. You know, mm -hmm. you're always trying to find something cheaper. You got folks out here right now, grandmas, that have been making cookies for years mm -hmm. and has never had the opportunity to say, you know what, I'm going to start me a marijuana cookie store. So, you know, I, I don't think we should be worried about Illinois or any other bordering state. There's plenty of smokers in this state. St. Louis County is going to take up the tax issue at a meeting on January 17th. Here's Councilman Mark Harder. We'll have uh, issues dealing with... Um, uh, policing. We're going to have issues on health and I think we can try to recoup some of those costs by taxing it, um, taxing people that are actually using this. I also talked to Jefferson County Councilman Charlie Grodeke. Well, as you know, Elliot, I'm not a real fan of any new taxes of any sort, but I believe this some, something needs to be done in this venue and uh, we're looking at uh, possibly funding the drug treatment court better with it and some of the sheriff's department at the present time. That's what I'm looking at. Any tax dollar that's added onto those products is competing with illicit market products uh, that don't have that tax structure associated with them now. Now, Missouri had some $330 million in medical marijuana sales last year. That's according to some reports, though, this year. The sale of adult use recreational cannabis could double that to around $770 million dollars big bucks. Of course, I'll stay on top of all this. After all, you paid for it.